Focus vocabulary. Celestial sphere. Horizon. Zenith. Azimuth. Altitude. From Earth, it appears that the sky moves around us. The sun rises from the east and sets in the west. The stars in the sky do this as well, moving from east to west. The word celestial is used to describe the imaginary sphere that appears to go around the earth. The celestial sphere is a model that allows us to describe the sky from our point of view here on earth. While standing outside, you can view about one half of the celestial sphere at one time. The horizon is in the way. I can describe the houses in the distance as being near the horizon or the edge of the sky. Differences in the horizon is why we build earthbound telescopes on top of mountains. Zenith is the furthest point from the horizon, which is directly above the head of the observer. On the equator, the sun will be directly above you at its zenith at noon during the fall and spring equinoxes. While using the terms horizon and zenith are great for general descriptions of the sky, they are not quite specific enough to really describe how objects appear in the celestial sphere of Earth. When you observe objects in the sky, there are two directions that can be described in detail. The first, azimuth, is the number of degrees from north in a clockwise circle along the horizon. Face north. If you turn right in a clockwise direction, you will increase the measurement of azimuth to 90 degrees when you're facing directly east, then 180 degrees when facing south, 270 degrees when facing west, and instead of 360 degrees when you come back to north, it resets to zero. The second direction that is needed to describe an object in the sky is altitude. Altitude is how far from the horizon the object is up towards the zenith. An object on the horizon has zero degrees altitude. As the object moves higher in the sky towards the zenith, it will increase the number of degrees to 90 and then go back down from 90 to zero as it approaches the horizon on the other side. To review, say these terms when I present a situation that describes them. This will help your brain form connections and remember them. The imaginary model that we use to describe how all objects in the sky move is the celestial sphere. The edge of the earth gets in the way of viewing the entire celestial sphere because the horizon gets in the way. I can look all over the place. When I look above my head in astronomy, this is the zenith. If I face north and then move in a clockwise motion, I'm increasing my azimuth. If I'm laying on my back and I point off towards the horizon and raise my arm towards the zenith, I'm increasing the altitude of my pointed finger. Thank you for watching. This has been Justin Higgins. Have a glorious day and be excellent to each other.